This is my review of the Fire Club bipod. Um, this is another Atlas style copy from China. Um, when this one turns up, it comes in a, a no frills box. You do get an Allen key to tighten up the leg studs at the side in case they start to come loose. And uh, a key ring so you can let people know that you can't afford a real Atlas bipod. So this one is particularly well made, you know, I've had it on the rifle for a few days, I've done some bench shooting with it, I mean it still looks like new, well, you should expect, um, and it is, it is nice and stable, it is solid when it's on the rifle, uh, it's got a nice quick release on the, on the Picatinny rail there, uh, the quick release actually has a, a little clip on the side there, so you have to press that before you can open it. Which is nice because that means you won't be able to catch this on your on your jacket or undergrowth and then accidentally release it off your rifle. And there's an Allen bolt at the side there so you can get the exact fitment for the for the width of your rail. Also has cant adjustment on this, so you can loosen that up, and then you'll see that there is adjustment. You can also do left to right, but then the, the cant adjustment is the main part there. Uh, and that's for if you're shooting off a, an even bench or, or something like that. And that's pretty good. It is a bit fiddly to do when it's underneath your rifle. You've got this on the on the shooting bench and then you've got it just right and you've got to try to get underneath and tighten that up without it moving. A little fiddly, but once you've got it all set up, if you're doing like a, a few hours shooting from the same bench, then that's, it's ideal for that. As with all of these particular types of bipod, to bring the legs down you press the little button at the side you'll see it opens up the catch there and it allows you to move it down to the first position vertical and then back on itself depending which way around you you mount it on the rifle um, so that's that's nice when they're both deployed that's the kind of spread that you have on the legs it's nice nice uh, steady platform as I say the, um, the legs are adjustable from 6 to 9 inches, you just pull the collar there and then you can pull it down the rest of the way and it slots in nicely. The only thing it doesn't do is go the opposite way, so you move it up, release the collar and it won't go further up. Which I guess is if you want to get somewhere in between the two, that's nice because if you, you know, you've got just a little bit of adjustment you need to make it will hold itself in place. But if you're wanting to actually slot it back in, moving up, you can't do it. You've got to go past it. So pros and cons to that, really. And then the feet. These feet are actually a hard plastic, so they are they are slippy. They're not a, a nice, soft, rubber, grippy foot, um, which might be annoying to some. There's some little pins here, which means that you might be able to remove these feet, perhaps put some more rubbery feet on. Uh, perhaps replace them with spikes. I know people do replace them with spikes sometimes. But um, but yeah, all in all, pretty good. Um, good if you're doing a good few hours off the bench. You know, if you're if you're out and about in the field, de deploying it and then having to get these in just the right place quickly might not be the best choice. Um, but yeah, overall, not too bad. Certainly cheaper than a, an Atlas bipod, but then you wouldn't stick this on like a 50 cal or something like that. You know, you know, you want to stick to your stick to your air rifles. I think with this particular model. Okay, thanks very much for watching, guys. Hope it proved useful to you. If it did, please like and subscribe. All that business, and uh, I'll see you next time.